Welcome everyone, thanks for watching how to clean your fly knits. These are Air Max versions of the fly knits. These are premium shoes. I hope you guys check out that video that I unboxed for these shoes. Today we're going to use Shout Wipe and Ghost, the instant stain remover. I also did a video on the Nike Sports Watch GPS. You guys want to check out that video as well. Over here we, I got also got the pouch to hold the pod because these premium shoes does not have the Nike Plus capability. So you have to attach the pouch to the shoe like so. And this way the pod will stay upright and in the right position so it won't fall back out. And that way the Griffin sign will be in the proper position and it, it acts as a reflector when you see with flash on or light reflecting off of it. That way people can see in the dark. Also forgot to mention the other video that there's uh, other ways to attach this to the shoe. As you can see, I'm putting through the, the laces and this is probably super secure just in case you want to make sure it won't fall out your shoe while you're running. And here we're talking about the shout wipe and go. On the back of this packet, it says it's a remove excess stain, apply shout wipe and go from the outside of the stain towards the center. Uh, might not be possible here because I only have a little small spot on the shoe on the front. And the front of the shoe is probably where it's mostly um, accumulates most dirt, especially with people, you know, you're walking forward and everyone's around you. And I, I, get, I did have someone like step on my shoe one time and I wasn't really happy about it. And they knew that was new shoes. It was by accident and they didn't mean it anyways. Just showing you guys the back of the shoe on the sole to see uh, after like, I think two, three weeks of use, uh, how these shoes hold up. And I've been wearing this like, casually not like every day but like especially when i go to the gym i like the feeling of these shoes because they're lightweight um they're made of polyester yarn so now i'm opening up the packet and this packet does come as in a size of 4.7 inch to 5.9 inch you can buy this packet in many in many stores like walmart target walgreens even even online so i think it's a good investment i've seen a video on how they remove uh, wine stains coffee stains on a plain white shirt and the girl was just wearing a shirt she was doing a new show and uh, she just showcased the wipes so right here we're using it on the shoes which is also again made of polyester yarn and before I applied I, I hope you guys did see the uh, brown stains like really light brown stains I'm trying to point it out right there if you can see it again right there right at the tip yeah, pretty obvious to me because I every time I look down at my shoes at the gym or wherever I'm going out and these are new shoes it's just it gets to me you know like you just bought like premium expensive shoes and you want to keep them clean so again I'm just wiping the area that has the stain and uh, this stain has been there for like at least a couple of days not if not a week so I'm gonna say it's about a week now and uh, it's an old stain but I'm hoping that this cloth will take care of the job. Again, I'm just going over the area, but not anywhere else because I don't want to damage any other cloth in case this thing is too strong. I didn't want, uh, the, again, the cloth is a little bit moist. I didn't want to like clump it up too much because then like it might get too concentrated. So I just want to rub a little bit over it. I'm um, trying to get all the areas. So instantly after like a couple wipes, and I'm just doing it gently because I didn't want to uh, rub it in too hard and damage the fabric in, in any chances. So I'm just going over to from the tips to tips, uh, from the edge to edge. So again, I think I was pretty happy already. Like right now, that was only like to what 10, 20 seconds of wiping, and I'm trying to compare between the like the mint left shoe, which never pretty much never got dirty, versus the right one. And it does look more clean to me. Like I'm pretty happy with this product. Uh, we can see now that there's a lot left over because like for the shoe you just want to wipe the stain that wherever it occurred it's not like you're going to clean the whole shoe right now uh, but again i'm going to go over a couple more times just to make sure that like uh, i didn't miss anything so here we go again just to make sure and i'm going to show you guys with flash what it looks like um it's probably more brighter that way you can see if there's uh how clean it actually became in contrast with the other shoe and I'm, I recommend like, you know, you have a lot left over with this cloth. You might want to run it through the other um, parts. And these are Air Maxes. So then uh, there's like the bubbles on the bottom of the uh, for the sole instead of rubber. And, you know, you could use that just to clean out the outer, the outer parts where it doesn't really damage the fabric. And with fabric shoes like Fly Knits, I think they're really uh, well made. 
uh, for example, they are to contour to your foot. That's how fine knits are supposed to be made. That way they're lightweight and that they fit like a sock. Uh, they're good for supportive fit. And I also think that when I wear these like at the gym and I like, you know, work out a lot. So I, I actually use these like on the Stairmasters and stuff like that recently. And like, I didn't feel my feet getting warm or hot at, at all. So I think it has a really good cooling system. I think with the polyester yarn, it makes it really, um, with really good high breathability. It has good stretch and support as well with the material because then it's made out of fabric basically. So again, you see here, I'm like going through the front of the shoe because that's where it gets most dirty, especially when you accidentally bump into something and I'm just gonna go over the grids now on the bottom of the sole. I call them grids because, you know, they're supposed to be made for traction when you're running. And uh, I try to rub it side to side. I don't think that really worked for me. I actually think running it up and down works better. So I'm trying it side to side for this shoe. And I think in the flash video clip soon to come, you see me rubbing it up and down. I think that's a little better. And uh, you just wanna keep these premium shoes as clean as possible. Uh, to last you as long as possible. Okay, so now we have the flash on. Now we're just gonna compare the left shoe with the right shoe, and then you can just see how clean it is now. I wish I, you know, showed the flash uh, of how dirty it was in the first place. There was just a little brown stain about like in the tip of the shoe, about three centimeters long. So we just cleaned that off. And now we're looking at the bottom of the sole. I'm comparing the right sole, which I did not wipe down yet with the shout wipe and go versus the left so, uh, bottom of the sole. And the left bottom of the sole is pretty much pretty clean. Like, you know, I could probably market this as new again and try to sell it, but I'm not, because I love these shoes. So here again, I'm just wiping down the outer sole with the grids. And you see that I'm still going side to side a little bit. And you see all that liquid coming out of the cloth. So it just tells you that um, this little cloth has a lot packed in there just to clean out the shoe. And you don't have to worry about the outer soles if you put too much on there because you know it'll dry out really easy. And now I'm just going up and down. I feel like it does a better job. You can see it's like soap residue, but not really. Here I'm gonna unwrap it to show you how much cleaning this cloth, this cloth did. And you see that it picked up a lot of dirt. So only a little bit of the area I didn't use and I'm gonna use that little white area just to clean up on anything that I think I'm missing. And again, I'm picking it up. See, let's see that if it's dry now. Yeah, so this is the aftermath. It looks pretty good. I hope you guys uh, will look into this product, especially if you have fly knits. You might want to try it on your other premium shoes. Um, so thank you for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe, like, and comment, and check out my other videos as well.